you guys. Ah! Literally. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny, and today I'm bringing to you an Amazon accessory haul. All right guys, for this first item here, I saw this bag first from when Francesca Francesca Garza talked about it on her YouTube channel. I'll link her Instagram below. But when I saw this, I knew immediately what it was. It's 100% a dupe for the Prada bag. This thing is gorgeous, you guys. Like, I cannot get enough out of this bag. I read a lot of the reviews and they did kind of compare a couple people had the real Prada they did compare this to the real Prada and they were saying that they almost like this one better because it's not Ella can you please stop miss sorry my dog <laughs> um they said because it's not real felt it's not as flimsy and it's actually like easier to maneuver and get in and out of super so. easy to open you just lift this flap here and it's nice and secure the hardware is really beautiful it's by the brand called la festine and um this seller has like several other colors they have this in the maroon and then they have like a bunch of other dupe bags i think like chloe bags and stuff um, pretty big on the inside i'm personally i'm a huge fan of small purses so this is actually like an ideal size for me um and since it is like a nicer dressier bag it's not something I would wear every day, so this is definitely a reason why I would buy the dupe because it's I don't really go out a lot. I don't go to nice dinners a lot or whatever where I would be using a bag that is so dressy and is so high-end looking that it's kind of hard to wear as an everyday bag. So I don't think in this case, like with this kind of designer bag, like I would prefer to buy a dupe. And All right, guys, and this next bag here is a total Chanel dupe. Um, it is on the smaller side for a backpack if you guys saw my Shein haul i did review another chanel um like black leather quilted bag dupe there i prefer that one mostly because of the functionality of it it's just very easy to open i like that i can wear it like a purse as well however when i saw this i just i had to pick it up and see what the hype was about it is so cute it has this nice bucket bottom there's no feet on the bottom or anything but then if you look at the chain up close I don't know if you'll be able to see here that one is silver and one is gold. So it's cute on. Um, I try to wear it like this, like a backpack. I'll definitely insert some like clips so you guys can see right now. Um, it's hard to, I literally have a bag of popcorn in here. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain that. That's all I have in here right now. Oh, and a packet. Excuse me, miss of stevia so really random things in here um easy button closure on the inside however like this chain does not slide through easily i do think it looks cuter closed like this but it's just it the other bag i showed on my other haul it just slides so much easier so i don't really reach for this one ever like i rarely use this bag but it is still really cute and i think it's like under 20 dollars but I just thought this was such a cute little Chanel dupe. And then to add to it, which um, I'm going to show this later in the haul. Actually, i just talk about it right now. Is this Gucci pin. I just think if, like, you wanted to, like, ruin this bag, you could just pin this Gucci button on the front. And it could look super high-end and, like, I don't know, just very nice. So this is actually out of stock from the seller right now. It's a Gucci dupe, like brooch pin. It's fairly large. I like to put this on, if you guys saw my first Shein haul, I like to put this on like blazers and bags and wallets. It's just like a simple like pin back closure here, like really basic pin. It's not like super heavy duty or anything, um, but it's just like a cute little accessory to have to just like kind of dress up an outfit and like unless you're like some crazy person and you know like, you know what I mean? You know your brands. Um, it's just like a nice little cute accessory. It was $12.99. Like I said, these come in stock and they sell out like in 30 minutes. So if you guys could get your hands on these, I advise it. It's just like I can't link it below right now because it sold out you guys ah! literally ha, ha, ha. my favorite purchase oh i'm riling my dog up i have ever made from amazon like 100 
This is a gorgeous bag. I'm definitely going to shoot some overlay photos for this. So there's a brand called Nancy and Co or Nina and Co on Instagram. I'm definitely going to insert some photos right now of what their bags look like. They're three to $500 bags, guys. They're beautiful bags. They're handmade in Guatemala, like real leather, like supporting a small culture of women, teaching them a beautiful skill of how to weave these gorgeous bags. They're very high end. They're very pricey. They're very cute. So I wanted a bag like that. My sister, excuse me, miss. My sister is um, getting married in May and we were supposed to go <laughs> on a vacation, her bachelor party to Miami next week. But this whole virus going around, our plane got canceled, our trip got canceled, yada, yada, yada. So this bag is actually, I bought myself one too. <laughs> It's actually a gift for her, but I couldn't help but not buy myself one as well. Now I did order like Nancy and Co sells like little pom poms, like tiered tassel pom poms. And I found a dupe on Amazon, but it hasn't come in yet, but I really wanted to film this video. So I'm gonna attach those pom poms to this bag as well. It's super big on the inside. I'll definitely shoot some um, shots right now of what the inside looks like. Um, the back, the only th difference is like the other bag, it has this design like all over it, but this has like a nice neutral design. They also have different styles on Amazon. I'll link it below um, where like the stripes are like light pink and then like another color and then like this color is like different as well. But I just thought this was so beautiful and bright and vibrant. And I actually recently went to... <laughs> Vegas with my boyfriend and this was my only bag I brought I brought like all my clothes and toiletries in this bag and it fit perfectly so I, I bought it purposefully for like a carry-on bag but it's just so cute there's a nice hefty zipper in the back here so then another accessory that I added to this bag that actually has come in the mail is um, this Aztec bag strap which I will shoot some um, insert some photos right now of what it looks like i wanted to just dress this bag up even more it does come with this like brown leather strap and it is functional like i wore this when i went to vegas and like i wore it crossbody it was like actually comfortable but i wanted something like thicker and just like a little bit more unique looking so i started to look up bag straps and i always think that's a really nice way to like differentiate your bag and like dress it up is get a different bag strap so there's this one and there's a bunch more on the website which i'll probably order just to like have a nice little variety but you guys like this is such a good find for the beach and for vacation and for summer like oh my god and it was literally like 42 dollars. i think it was like 46 with shipping how could you not buy this? I immediately had to get my sister one. I'm probably gonna get my mom one too. Okay, so for the next part of this haul, I'm gonna get into stuff I use when I travel. And it's not like the typical things you would see on like an Amazon like travel haul. Um, these are things that I use when I go on like my adventure travels. I like to camp a lot and just like, I went to Thailand, like Tulum, Mexico, camping yosemite mammoth wherever like those are the kind of adventures i like to go on so i'm going to show you some things that were like really essential essential on all these trips i've been on that like are just freaking awesome and i had to share with you guys the first two items i purchased for my trip to yosemite and my trip to thailand and mexico um and these are chamois and i cannot tell you how much these come in handy like when we were in thailand and mexico we stayed in a lot of hostels and like airbnbs or like places where they won't provide you like bath towels and even if they did it's like i don't really want to use like a bath towel that somebody else has used even if it's clean so these came in amazing handiness or to use at the beach to dry off when we went to tulum we went to a lot of cenotes and it was just nice to have like something like compact lightweight and like dries you off right away so this one's pretty big I don't know if you guys can see the full thing in the shot, but it's just beautiful green color. It was really nice to just like lay on rocks and like sunbathe in or dry my whole body off in in the shower. And then when we went to Yosemite, I decided to buy an even bigger one because honestly, it really is nice to have like a full blown chamois that like dries you off in two seconds. And like, I don't know if you guys have seen my other videos, but this is the color of my personal training business. And it's probably one of my favorite colors. I love turquoise. So this one's huge. I can't even get it in the whole frame. But it's like a giant blanket. We did, um, we went fishing at June Lake. 
and I just laid this sucker out and just tanned and held my little fishing rod and they both come with these like nice little carrying cases so what I'll do is when I'm hiking or camping or something I'll attach a carabiner to this and like carabiner it to my backpack and they're just like so amazing like even when I'm like hiking with my little dog here and she gets like wet it's just nice to like have it to dry her off the smaller one fits in a fanny pack when I go like hiking I like to bring a fanny pack and they're just like super useful and they were like I think each under $20 so it's a really good investment to have if you guys like adventures like that or you go to the beach a lot. Right, guys, this next one I'm not going to take out of the bag. I will try to find some pictures to insert but this is a portable hammock and like it's nice and compact and tiny and like honestly if you're going on like um, mostly camping or like to the beach it's really nice to have something so compact that you can just like carabiner onto a backpack or put in a beach bag and like have a hammock so this this is amazing it's super super easy to install we used it when we camped in mammoth and my yosemite trip this past year and it was just like so nice to have a hammock to like lay down in and just hang out by the fire or just like read a book in and it's just a really good investment and i like this because it is so tiny and compact um i don't recall the price of this but i will link it below okay. this next one i recently got because i was going to miami like i said it got canceled but it's still a great investment like i bring it like on walks and hikes with my dog and i brought it on my trip um, when I went to Vegas for the weekend with my boyfriend, it was just like nice to have. And the reason I even thought about getting one of these was Christina Barley, Bar Barley. I'll link her Instagram below as well. Um, she's awesome. She's like an anesthesiologist. She's super freaking smart. I love her channel, but she always does like really great, um, like techie and like travel Amazon hauls. So she talked about this on her channel. It's a collapsible water bottle and it's just freaking awesome i just connected this to that aztec bag um when i was on the airplane and filled it up at the waterfall wa water bottle station and it was just so nice so to open it you actually have to open the top or it's gonna like suction together and the reason she said this one was so great was because it has this like hard disc through the middle so it doesn't collapse it's not like some weird flimsy flavor like shape you know what i mean it's like nice and sturdy it holds quite a bit of water and then i love how compact it is once it closes so this is again perfect for hyping or camping or traveling i really liked having this attached to my bag because you know water at airports and in vegas is like eight dollars for like a tenth of a liter and it's just ridiculous so it's nice to always be able to have access to a holding vessel for some fresh water all right guys and this last item for travel is this hard like makeup toiletry case um again lots of people have reviewed this on youtube and oh my dog got up <laughs> and i just had to purchase it and I wanted to do a quick review. So it's super, super hard, which I love. Now, personally, I would not use this for toiletries. I already have one for toiletries and I like the functionality of that better. The reason I like this is one, you just heard it's very, very hard shelled, but two, it has like this flap in here. When you lift it up, you can put makeup brushes or like whatever else in here. And then there's a side zipper, which is perfect because I usually bring one palette of eyeshadow on a trip, like a long trip. And like, it's like the perfect little side flap for a palette or, and then the reason why everyone likes this is because it has these movable dividers. Um, right now, all I have in it, I'm keeping my sunglasses in it. So if you have, a, if you're like a sunglass girl like me and you're going on a big, like long week long tropical vacation, this is actually a really good option for you to hold all your sun case, all your sunglasses in and just bring one case. So like what I do is I stack all my sunglasses in here. I put like a little cute scarf on top to protect them. And then I close it up and I know that all my sunnies that I'm bringing on my vacation are like safe for travel and they're not going to get crunched because this thing is so hard. Um, obviously you can put like makeup and stuff in there. It's just I have other um, things I would put my makeup in. So again, this is super cute. Fits really compact and nice inside a suitcase. Speaking about sunnies, I have three pairs I got from Amazon. I only think one of them is a dupe for a designer brand. The first pair comes um, in this black colorway. 
kind of gives me like Beatles vibes. Um, they also come like silver and gold rimmed and I think like the shades are different. I just thought these were cute for summer, like nice and delicate, kind of reminds me of Ray-Bans. Definitely not something I've been reaching for, like this round shape on my face is just like so not my style. But um, who knows, maybe I'll give these away to someone. But I just think they're like a nice, I like to like dress up or change the vibe of an outfit uh, by sunglasses and accessories. It's super cheap way to look more put together. Okay, so the second pair is, I believe, a Prada dupe. They're probably super dirty right now. But um, the reason I like these, I love a big black sunny. But also the lenses are polarized, which is something really key to protect your eyes. Like that's why I have like really sensitive eyes and that's why I wear sunglasses is to protect my eyes from wrinkles and sun damage. But also I'm like a baby and I have very sensitive eyes. Like I need to wear sunglasses at all times, even when it's overcast. So this next pair is literally my favorite pair of sunglasses other than my Ray-Bans I purchased. And they're by the brand La Specs. Now all the bloggers were wearing these a year or two ago. They had this beautiful like gold part on the front. They're kind of cat eyed, super dark, nice and heavy. These were like 60 bucks. I bought my mom a pair. She personally didn't like them because they were a little too heavy for her. And these definitely are heavy. They do like leave those like little nose marks if it's hot out, but God, they're like literally so cute. And they're one of my favorite pairs. I just feel so chic and such a movie star when I wear these they're really high quality. I think all the spec sunglasses are just really, really high quality and definitely worth spending the extra extra like 20 30 dollars on a high quality pair like this all right guys coming to the final part of my amazon accessory haul my favorite part is the dog accessories my little dog she's oh she's just such a hyper little girl so the first item I want to talk about is this slow feeder bowl I got off amazon for about ten dollars now I got a a new puppy last October she's a purebred American Staffshire Terrier and or a pit bull whatever you want to call her and the this breed they're a bully breed they have a very high amount of energy and I had never had a big dog like this so I just did not understand that I need to understand dogs so we had a little bit of food aggression um, and I didn't know how to deal with it. So I started with a slow feeder bowl because she was getting really gassy and eating super quick and like would growl if I was even sitting near her while she was eating. So I decided to try the slow feeder bowl when I was feeding her kibble. She's now on a raw diet, but this is amazing. It really did slow her down. Um, it didn't cure her food aggression. What did is a specific um, way that my dog trainer showed me how to feed her and that like completely completely cured it but i just think this is great if your dog eats too quickly it kind of teaches them to work for their food it slows them down they don't get as bloated and gassy and it was just like a cheap investment for my dog all right and this next item is this pink light up collar i got this to walk my dog at night so it has three settings this one where it blinks super fast i don't even know if you can see it then a slower blink and then just the constant light. I prefer the constant light. Um, it's just, I think it's the cutest and less annoying. I usually wear all black when I'm walking her at night. So it's really nice to just like know me and my dog are going to be seen by any cars coming around the corner. And then also, um, I don't know if you guys will be able to see. So I know the lighting's bad, but it's just, you charge it by like a USB port right here and you turn it on by this like little light. I think this was like 12 or $14. Um, I will link it below. So this next one is by a brand called Kurgo and it is a harness and I love it because it has this nice little strap on top and sometimes Ella gets a little crazy at the dog park or like I run her off leash and she just doesn't listen and come back. So I like that I can just like grab the top of this on her back and just like kind of like control her because she's a big girl. Like she's like 46 pounds. She's a pit bull. She has a lot of energy and it's just like I feel really safe and it's easier to walk her since she's getting so strong, especially since there's this um, like strap on the back. And then can you stop this? And then, so there's this nice strap on the back. You can attach the leash to here, which is like, like the it's gonna be like the lower part of her back here. Or there's another one underneath the neck 
that you can attach the leash to. I don't really understand that. Like it's really annoying to walk your dog with a leash underneath their neck. But um, another reason I got this is because the day I adopted her, I went to Petco and the lady there like specialized with pit bulls. And she was telling me like, girl, you're gonna need this, especially when you drive. So I actually got it because of this feature. It comes with, um, it comes with this attachment. It's just like a strap with a carabiner. So I don't know if I'm doing this right, but how I use it is when I buckle her up in the car, I put the harness on, I loop it through like this, and then I take the seatbelt and I loop it through the middle right here, and then I carabiner this together. So if we were in the car, she'd be harnessed in, the seatbelt would go through like this, and she would be nice and secure in the back. Now, in an ideal world, that's what I would do every time I drove with her. Um, unfortunately, she's stupid, annoying, smart, and can unbuckle herself. So she literally, like, I can't buckle her up anymore in the car because she knows how to step on the buckle and unbuckle herself. But I do love this harness for um, hiking. Like, it's one of my favorite things. Or the dog park. Like, when I know there's going to be a lot of dogs there, that's I'll put that on because she's just so hyper and, like, I need to put her in dog training school. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, this last item in my accessory haul is such a stupid purchase, but it makes me so happy. It is this Louis Vuitton dupe-inspired collar. I will insert pictures because the lighting's horrible here. But I just couldn't not get this. Um, I think this is size... 15 to like 22 inches when I got her she had a 15 inch neck she probably has a 16 to 18 inch neck now so this fits her perfectly on like the last one or two buttons or like little buckles but I just think this color looks so cute on her um with her dark fur she's just so wound up even though we went on a super long walk today we went on a super long walk why you still hyper huh and it's like a nice like all it's like a real leather um collar it's just so cute let's see if she'll hold still <laughs> you can kind of see it on her it's a nice color she's a baby i hope you enjoyed watching this video i really am obsessed with everything i showed you especially those purses I hope if you buy anything, you buy one of those purses or like some of the chamois or the collapsible water bottle. I don't know. What am I kidding? I love everything I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content created by moi, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a video with me again. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!